a standing ovation for Governor Paula Page in Walterboro. But not everyone was there to welcome the governor. Several residents were escorted out after criticizing the LePage administration. One resident accusing the governor of lying to prevent solar farms and residents from signing contracts with power companies. He is lying. I'm lying. You're always lying. To me, they were all honest answers, and he does his homework. The governor has been critical of solar power because he says it depends on subsidies that lead to higher costs for ratepayers. So we are actually buying long-term 20-year contracts at above the current market rates. Others attacked the governor for what they say is the LePage administration criminalizing drug abuse and those addicted. Addiction is a health issue, not a criminal issue. Drug addiction is a terrible thing. And, and a lot of people say, well, let's, man, let's legalize marijuana, we'll make it all good because that will solve the addiction. Ah, uh, doesn't work. While defending his policies, the governor also promoted his agenda, including tax reform, announcing for the first time his new plan to eliminate Maine's estate tax. That's one of the massive, major causes for people leaving the state of Maine for six months and a day. Well, he tells it the way it is, and it don't beat around the bush. Reiterated his support for Donald Trump tonight, and before leaving tonight, the governor urged voters to make it out for this weekend's caucuses. Live in the studio, Courtney Sturgeon, WMTW News 8.